Hey everybody, uh, the other day someone asked a question, how do I export my uh, iPhone video that I recorded in HDR to YouTube and have it play in HDR? And in this video I'm going to try to explain how to do that. Um, there's two, um, two versions of HDR you should be aware of, is uh, Dolby Vision and HDR10. Um, Dolby Vision is a little bit easier, especially if you're using an iPhone, because you won't have to do any conversion. But HDR10 will play on more devices. So uh, for this video, I'm going to use HDR10, which on DaVinci Resolve is Rec2100 ST2084. And uh, you want to set your HDR mastering for 1000 nits. And we're going to save that. And as you can see here, I've got a clip loaded and I'm doing this on my iPad because it's easier to record the screen but uh as you can see in the viewer this thing is like blown out so if you don't have a um HDR display of some sort the TV uh something along those lines or your iPad doesn't support the HDR like mine doesn't um yeah it's gonna be very hard to grade this but uh so we're gonna go over to the color tab and from here, since I'm converting it to HDR10, we're going to need a color space transform. And that's going to be my first node. And you're going to select your input because iPhone Dolby Vision is recorded in Rec 2020 color space. And Gamma is going to be Rec 2100 HLG. And you're going to see it's going to kind of normal out a little bit there. And, and where you want to do your grading is you want to set your waveform style to HDR, which this is going to, of course, give me a hard time. HDR right here. And that will help you kind of, you want what you want to do, most consumer HDR displays will display around about the 1,000 nits. Some may go a little bit higher, some may a little bit lower, but if you grade for 1,000, you should be safe. Um, so but just once you get there, then I'm going to open up another. I'm just going to do a basic like correction more so than a grade. But you want to use that thousand kind of like you would um, for a Rec. 709 or SDR, how it goes from zero to 100. You'd want to use a thousand as that 100, if you, that makes sense. So uh, I will go to my custom curves. And actually, I'm just going to take the middle and just bring it down. And you'll see it kind of, and you'll see the picture kind of, Getting a little bit more of what it should look like. This will actually look better on an HDR display. Um, and from there, I'm just going to give it a little bit of. We're going to switch over to the vector scope. Go to my. And we'll just kind of color correct this just a little bit. Bump up some saturation. Not a lot. I'll keep it right about there. And uh, I, let's say I'm happy with this, which I'm, for this video, I'm fine with. Now it's ready to render. And so I'm doing this on the iPad, and I've got the hack going. You do a search for the hack to pull up the render page. But uh, for exporting, what you want to set it to is QuickTime H.265, whatever your resolution is going to be, HD, 4K. Your, uh, to get the best quality, you're going to want to change this to whatever your frame rate, frame rate is times 2,000. So I've got uh, 24 frames per second. I want to change this to at least 48,000 kbs per second. Um, encoding profile, you want it has to be 10-bit video for YouTube to recognize it as HDR. So you want to at least have it at main 10. You can set it to... Main 10, 4, 2, 2, if you'd like it. I said it like that, but it's, I don't really notice the difference. Uh, and then add a render queue and export. And uh, when you upload it, it should. Uh, um, just a heads up, it's going to first, YouTube's going to take longer to render it. So when you first upload it, it's not going to show as HDR. It'll show SDR first, and then normally I say within 24 hours, you'll be able to see the HDR version. 
So I would I would recommend if you're going to publish this, I would keep it private until the HDR render is complete and then make it public. Um, but that being said, I hope this helps some folks. And if you if it does, give me a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Later.